tubers. We're going to do part two diagnosing the BMW F02. I actually uh, programmed the entire car, but we now we're going to see how many fault codes remain. Uh, there were about probably 430 odd uh, fault codes. Uh, this car is a water damage car that we bought here to the store. We replaced about 10 control units, probably nine. And then I think it's I think it's nine, and then now the EMF is the last one to be replaced. We are gonna now read out the vehicle context again and see what how many file codes remain after our programming session. We know it's about 435. So now that um, let's see how much left.
This is my laptop. My big 17 inch programming, BMW programming laptop. The console units that are in green, all of those are, are responding okay without fault. Those control units that are in yellowish, orange. Those control units to diagnose queries. But these control units, they receive fault codes. Are the fault codes that I have to work through. This control unit right here, this one that's closing. Parking brake. This control unit on the other water. I will start it. Start it this one. The other, this one today, so we can get about two. The electromechanical parking brake. That is the one. Auto ID on, but somehow the auto. Maybe the auto ID. Because auto ID controls the right height of the car. Right now, as we can look at the back. Car squatted to the back. There it goes. Car squatted. See the fender line on the wheel, where the wheel lie close to the wheel, and it squat down all the way down. Usually, when it works properly, it, it will go down because the air will leak out. Not necessarily that there's a puncture in the, the air holes, but usually depleted. You know, but usually when the car starts, the air pump increases uh, the pressure and then it goes up in the air. So right now it's kind of done. That one we have to resolve it today or tomorrow or Monday. So this car right here now, this car is still program. And uh, most of the control units here are replaced. All right, let me see if I can remember the control units are replaced here. He replaced the FRM model, Footwell model. That one was replaced. This one was replaced. Touch box, it's a satellite sensor right here. Part. All right, let me um, we replace control units, we replace uh, this one. Seat module for the driver, driver seat module. Place this one. Turn the right icon. This is the one. This one here, SDC. All around vision cam. Place this one. This one is has been fault causing it because the switch block has been uh, disconnected. Connected to the switch block. We replace what? What? Reverse, a reverse electromagnetic. So that here in angle sensor SDL, it has to be, uh, it failed initialization. After the, uh, this one here, this is. That's the management system. This management that you see that our symbol is that you see zigzag on as a management system. What the BSC unit, the dynamic stability control work with this one. You can see both of them with the same bus line. Same bus line here. BSC dynamic stability control works with this one, integrated traffic for vehicle stability. This is vert vertical dynamic. 
everybody work together. Come on. This is what we need. Walk. Come on, try Try help us. I put this car in the first so I to go back and kind of find it. Kind of, you know, the rear wheel is kind of find it. So because I think that's the profit break. This part break is still applied here. This is, um, you know, so do we know if I put this first? This jumps right back to P because this part is break is still applied. Somehow it just jumps back to P. If I put this first, see, jumps back to P. So the part is break signal is probably applied. R EGS is not seeing the signal from the park. Sorry about that. Automatically, EGS is the car back C for this purpose. That's the start of the parking brake. Parking brake control module, PMS working. Red right here. That's why the car is basically going back to the park. So this control unit, the PMS here, electromechanical parking brake. Then the EGS, no, right now, the EGS right there, EGS, the transmission control unit. Uh, controls here when you actually send a signal to the EJS and the EJS allow the car to be first we have the power but it comes back to P so the part is break probably still applied Back wheels are locked, and then the EJ sends that. Then this is not giving a signal that the parking brake is pleased because it's not functioning, it's in red. So, therefore, on the software here, this D doesn't respond to the diagnosis query. Okay, I lose communication. All right, I lose communication. Get back. I think this, this is the connection right here. This drum goes a little bit. It goes right there, right there, right there. Drums out, so I have to push it back. All right, talk too much so far already. BMW. All right, I'll go into um, let me see if I can go in DSC. Let me see if I can actually call up see who comes for the DSC unit. Let me look at what the strength, strength of values are. Let me see if I can calibrate this. All right, terminal. All right, we'll see them. Okay, so parking brake right here. So the signal is not there. I'm going to press the parking brake here. Apply it, pull it up. See, that was one right there. Not operating. See that? I roll it up right now. If I apply it, don't switch it. Not operating. That means EMS control unit is to replace. So turn this off. All right then. What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to find the um, trying to find the um, steering angle sensor. 
So maybe I have to close this out. So in the SDL, the SDL is the one that has that. So by the DSD unit, is that information. Steering column is right here, solid. Steering column right around the area is solid. So I think this is what would actually pull out the um, read out the steering angle sensor because it failed to so calibrate steering angle sensor. So I'm going to try to find it here. Here's right here. So I just, yes, I'm going to adjust it later, but I'm going to look at the value of it. All right, so this one showed like it's pretty good to the left. So the car. Alright, this one here, if I turn to the left, positive degrees is going to show positive degrees. Push it to the left. So I good full lock. So 538, five, whatever, 538, 59. If I do full right, it's going to show me show the similar value, but this one is 520. Let me go back to zero degrees. Go back to zero degrees. As I have to set it at zero degrees. Make sure I do calibrate. The reason why it fails, because when it was going through steering angle sensor calibration, steering was not really straight. It was like this, up a little bit like this. And it wasn't fully straight. As I could remember that it was this way, it was like this. It was going through the calibration when it was, the entire car was being programmed by it's a bit was doing follow up protein like you know July stuff. Therefore we have to use now software here and go into SDL call a VCU function and click on turn on value. Now we have to put this thing right exactly. We have to put it to um zero point zero and we have to do it straight like this. Whenever you want to get the value straight people, you know, if you want if it's like if, if, if for instance it's off by four point six degrees or four point five. You have to do the steering like this. Now you have to do like this. Push it like this. Push it. Push it. Then leave it alone. Be like this. I'll leave it alone. Until you see now. It now rallies back at basically 9. So it's kind of a positive number. Right? So we're going to do a little bit to the right. We're going to do like this. Now we see. Get a little much more. Less of volume on it. See? All right. We have roughly a uh, 0. This is intolerance that we can now set the steering angle sensor. Because right now it's at basically. 0 0.2. Let me put it at 0. Let me put it at 0. 0. Let me put it at 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, finish. Yeah, but we, yeah. Yeah, it called it most of the control, but we programmed the um, session called parking brake. Then we need to do one. Um, Right eye control, you see the back back here? Yes. Tire. So so we need to do that. A lot more stuff to do. A lot more. <laughs> A lot more stuff to do. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Alright, let me see now. This one is that positive. Yeah, positive degrees. I'm trying to fish it. Ah, there it goes. See? Hit it. Hit it. Now shift back to about four pounds. You see this one now? We have to be study. Ah, right now it's at zero point zero. All right, I'm gonna try to do this. Turn off the state here. Adjust here now. Sensor. Okay, so adjusted. Adjusted really. Now right, let me try go back and try to use a call for the distance. We have 33 points of left. Orange. 
Suena for some time. Suena for some operated there, just come on. Operated. Okay. That functionality is working. Let me check back out, but let me turn out the screen. Let me check back the screen and the value. That zero because I'm not sharing it out. See? Put it back at zero, zero. This is the way you do it. Try like this. Let it go. So like that. Zero now. Is it? I'm gonna see if I can do a calibration. Let me go here. Let me go in service function. Of which I can go here. I can look for the zero now. The run is zero now. Okay, now. Zero now. Let me turn now. Run calculation. Gonna look for ABL. ABL is work. I don't see for it. So I just open it for it. I'm just sharing it. Yeah, I don't see an ABL for um, internal cause, but thank you. Signal here will see the electrical cause in the same way. Driver says that will be potential meter here. Yeah, I don't see any ABL for um, just internal cause. That file code has been deleted. So, usually, when you want to do that, something you Going on each one. You can click on the favorite service function. Then we go in. We're going to pass the pass. Just this one. This one. Double click this one. All right, this one is adjusted. Okay, so I do not need to do this over again. Exactly, set point will create the exposition. Here's the screen wheel, must be exactly what I'm doing. Visual, approximate setting by I use prerequisite for the starting, steering, column switch, cluster, or steering, or steering, calling, with all related to the start of the cluster, maybe so. Other files have been processed according to the schedule. The following step, the following step, step is set to turn on the sensor. All prerequisites of the adjustment of the screen are completed. The adjustment is carried out the following step. All the adjustment is carried out, let me check again and see what it says. The switch off ignition. Wait 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The steering angle sensor was adjusted successfully. Steering wheel is not on it. This 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 would be on it. You, you will see this. I turn up the so you see. You will see a check ball come up for all the uh, the control lights. See that steering wheel right here. 
Now, and usually when the GPS message comes across the top, I put my finger back on the brake. So, well, that is what you're doing. That's what you're doing. All right, now. Through the entire world, remember, there's your country. Right, this one is finished. This is finished. This is more code. There's no file code in the SDL. There's file code in the DSP. Look here. It's gonna say some combination. This is this. This is this. Then this is this. Then this is this. Then this is this. Then this is this. All these call codes, you have to look at them later. But you just have to look at them later. Call code one. This is only maybe about two minutes ago. YouTubers, um, look by WC your profession. Somebody learn something. We're going to go to right eye. Um, gonna go to a uh, service function. Gonna go into uh, electronic right eye. Gonna do right eye adjustment. Right eye sensor stuff. Compressor here. I try to initialize it. But before that, we're going to read the KBL. ABL says that the right eye sensors are connected after the F01, the IC version of four right eye sensors are also valid for the IC and control for the right eye information sensor that is distributed next on the right eye by the bus system. Uh, of the production stage in September 2020, both right eye in the right eye adjustment service function, contrast is pretty simple. Following control units are connected. Electronic right eye control production stage, August 2020. ICM, integrated, integrated chassis management control. They're saying here, the right eye adjustment service function, contrast is pretty simple model. Following control units are calibrated simultaneously depending upon the equipment system. Okay, if this equipment is with electronic right eye control production stage, ICM control. In the right eye adjustment service function, the measured eye values are computed. After selection of the ring sensor, adjustment of the right eye to the ICM control unit. After the session, trim cell one. Um, the right eye, the right eye adjustment function, picture eye value. Let me save this one. Right eye control. Right at the right at the different control and placement of the gauge placement of the ICM right at the 
where uh, the person is putting. So for the right eye, that put in front of the object. Your screen, look how T is operating. For safety reasons, Charger must be connected. The ignition All files that are internal so must be for that. But who, who will be looking to play the headphones? You are in the right eye address. So must be loaded. Must be not be loaded. The right eye address is run automatically. During the green side, and the right while distance between the wheel house head and the rim plant from the achievement. The achievement. Identification of the install control unit. Number of install right eye. That is the transfer mode, self level and suspension. Input of the rim side. Just of the cell phone. After the right eye adjustment, we're moving automatically. Control operation start the engine. Control operation start with the engine. In all cases, the mode must be deleted again before delivery. After. All right, I'm going to go over this one more time.
fazer. That's what I measured, 23 inches. 23 inches I measured is equivalent to 519. Was the front of the full and right? I've already determined by the front. Yes. Oh. We're not just
Okay, end of this session for now, YouTuber. Bye. Gonna continue this session Monday.